What's up you guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a landing page where you can capture people's email addresses in almost no time for almost no money. Let's get into it. Hi, so this is one of my favorite techniques. I've used this over and over and over again. And the cool thing about it is you don't actually need to have a website to make this work. So let's assume that we're building a brand and I've come up with this fictitious brand of things that I happen to love and I've called it Cars, Watches, and Hi-Fi on Instagram. So using the BAM technique, meaning brand, audience, monetization. So you need to start with brand first. In this case, I've got Cars, Watches, and Hi-Fi. Now this is something I can do purely for fun, but you never know what kind of opportunities will open up to you once you start building an audience in a specific niche. So in this case, I've got cars, I've got watches, and hi-fi. So this thing has been open for about an hour now, and I've done well. I've gotten 12 uh, posts up and 20 followers, but now I wanna start collecting email addresses. The problem is when someone goes to cars, watches, and hi-fi.com, here's what happens, which is nothing. There's nothing actually there. Now I own the domain name, but I have nothing on the website, and honestly, Let's say I don't know how to build a website. Let's say I don't have any of those skills and I don't have the money to pay to get somebody to buy or rather to build me a website. So here's what we do. You pop on over to MailChimp.com. Now, there are hundreds of different email providers. The cool thing about MailChimp is that it's effectively free. You can literally sign up for free, go to MailChimp.com. You can click the link in the bio, which is an affiliate link for me. You don't have to do it that way. You can just go to MailChimp.com and you put your email address in, your username, and your password. Now, if you follow along the Solopreneur Hour, you'll know that I would have already set up an email address for cars, watches, and hi-fi at gmail.com, which is, of course, what I've done because that's its own brand. I do that because down the road, if I want to outsource, then I have all of my related you know, accounts and websites and everything all under this one email address. So I've already done that. I have a, a, a MailChimp account that I've used for kind of these purposes. Uh, I don't use it much for business, but it's fun for these kinds of things. So I'm going to log into it right now. So let's say you have a brand new MailChimp account and here's what it looks like. Okay. If I'm going to go up to the upper left-hand corner here, I'm going to click on lists. And for this, I want to create a list for cars, watches, and hi-fi, specifically for this Instagram, because I've got nothing else going on right now, okay? So I have no contacts in there at all yet, um, but I have signed up, I made a form rather, for cars, watches, and hi-fi on Instagram, okay? So I, I make a list, and, and again, to do that, you literally just go to lists, and you hit create list, which is up here in the upper right-hand corner, and you say, I wanna create a list, it's going to ask you all these questions. What's the name of your list? And here's my demo list. And from email address is blah at blah.com uh, or galah.com and Michael. And here's how you found me. Here's how, here's an address. And then I hit save. I'm not going to do that now because I've already done it once. So that's my list. So here's the list. Okay. The next thing we want to do is create a landing page for that list. This is where things get really cool. So I go to the upper right hand corner here and hit create. And it says, what do you want to create? And I go, I want to create a landing page. Okay. Landing page name is going to be cars, oops, cars, watches, and hi-fi. And the list, I want to go to the cars, watches, and hi-fi list that I've just created. So I want anybody who opts into this to opt in to my cars, watches, and hi-fi list. Now, do I know what I'm going to do with them yet? No idea. But on Instagram, you can say, hey guys, I know I'm gonna build an audience soon. I know when I get some audience going on this page that it's very possible that some opportunities could come along. Some companies, let's say I get 5,000 followers on this Instagram account. Well, some companies might reach out and say, hey, um, you know, we make a great line of automotive-based XYZ uh, jackets or something. I go, okay can you give me one to give away to my audience? And they go, yeah, totally. So they'll send me two, they'll, one for me and one for my audience. I can then do an Instagram giveaway of that jacket that is related to a car, a watch, or some kind of high-end stereo equipment. So I'm gonna say, great, I'm gonna hit begin. 
And here is a basic template right here for a landing page. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a big, cool background image related to uh, cars, watches, and hi-fi. So I'm gonna click here on images. I'm gonna click upload in the upper right-hand corner. I'm gonna cruise to this image that I grabbed from the interwebs. And now it's my background, awesome. So now I've got this cool, and you'll see more of it as I, um, as I go here. You'll see sort of what it looks like. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is go here to design which is on the upper right hand corner here. And this is gonna allow me to give certain styles to the overall page. Now, I don't want this big white background here at all. So I can go to header and it shows me the background, border top, you can adjust anything you want. Um, you can go to like, here's the uh, interior color and I can make this thing no color and that color just disappears, which is exactly what I want. And I'll hit save. And you can spend hours designing this thing. You don't have to. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the body of the email, which is go here, body interior style background, turn that color off. And so now I have just this thing right on top, which is perfect. I'll hit save. I'll cruise here to logo. Click this little edit button and I'll upload. I'll hit replace, upload my own logo. I've already done that once. So I'm just going to actually grab this one. Um, I've, Again, same kind of thing. You just hit upload and then navigate to wherever your stuff is. So now I've got a cool logo. I'm psyched. Now I've got a big enticing headline here. So I'm just gonna click edit on this and do all caps, cars, watches, and hi-fi. Grab this whole thing, change the color of it to white. So now there's that. I'm gonna hit save and close. And I'm gonna edit this thing. And I'll just say, sign up for free promotions and giveaways on Instagram. And I'll just center this, I'll make it bold. I'll hit that just like that. I'm gonna change the color of this to white. And there's that. And now same drill with email address. Uh, style, I'm going to make the text color white again to make it easy to see. I'm not gonna get too crazy with this design because that's not really what this thing's about, you know? I want this thing to be as easy as possible. So I've just made it now so I can just hover over here and it's dark. This is essentially what the page looks like. I'm totally fine with it. It does not need to be the most beautiful page in the world. It just needs to be effective. So I'm going to save and continue. Here's what we've got, and this is pretty cool. So now I've got the content, it's already there. I've got the list, which is connected to cars, watches, and hi-fi. And I've got a page title. So let's make that cars, watches, and hi-fi. Again, pretty darn easy. Watches and hi-fi. And hit save. Now here's the part where we get a little tricky, but this is where the magic happens. So let's add URL. It's gonna say, hey, what do you want here? What do, what do you want for a URL? Um, I don't want any of these here, so I'm gonna let it generate, generate randomly. And this doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what this thing says. So I'm just gonna say CWH for cars, watches, and hi-fi, and hit save. So now I have a URL, okay? This is what's so cool about this. Now this is published. So I'm gonna hit publish. Now this thing is actually on the web. If I click this thing and open a new tab. This thing's live on the web, but no one's going to just find this domain name, which is like mail, chi.mp.c88, blah, 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 blah. But here's the deal. Here's what's so cool about this deal. So I can grab this URL. I can then flip over to GoDaddy. So this is where the magic can happen on GoDaddy. If you get any domain name that you want, and so you can just go to GoDaddy, type in whatever you want, in this case, I've actually gotten the domain name, Cars, Watches, and Hi-Fi. So I want that thing to be eventually used, but you can always go to godaddy.com. You can search for anything you want. You can do anything I can think of.com or whatever you want, okay? So get yourself a domain name. <laughs> this one's taken, of course, but whatever domain name you want, okay? And just buy it. It's gonna cost you like $11. That's why this is almost free. 
MailChimp is pretty much free. And then this is like 11 bucks to make this thing work. And Instagram is free. So under 20 bucks and you're good to go for this. At any rate, I've already purchased cars, watches, and hi-fi.com. So if I go to my domain manager here, this is in GoDaddy right now. And I scroll down to where it says cars, watches, and hi-fi.com. I just click on this. Now, mind you, I've copied this. I grabbed this URL, okay? I just hit copy. I'm cruising back to my domain manager. I have all of this info right here. Right now, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. But if I click on manage DNS, and then cruise down the page to where it says forwarding. This is on the right-hand side here. Hit add forwarding, okay? I'm gonna paste that URL that I just copied from MailChimp. I'm gonna change this thing to HTTPS and I'm going to move this thing out of the way, delete it. So now I have this thing that says forward to MailChimp, blah, 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 okay? And I'm also gonna do forward with masking. So what that's gonna do is it's going to use Cars, Watches, and Hi-Fi as the domain name. And no one's gonna know that you're on MailChimp right now. So, Cars, Watches, and Hi-Fi. These are a few of your favorite things. And I can do Watches, Stereo, Cars, fine, okay? Um, and then I hit save. Now this will take a while. Sometimes it can take hours for this next part to actually happen. But in the meantime, I can cruise back over to my Instagram and I can edit my profile. Okay. So in the bio, I can say something like, um, click below to sign up for free giveaways. All right, so now I have this call to action that's happening right here. And I'm hitting submit. All right. So when I look at my own profile now, oops, let's go there. Click below to sign up for free giveaways. Now, I don't know if this will work yet. Let's see. Boom, we have a landing page. I don't know how long that took, maybe a minute. I didn't pause the video, that was all totally live. So now I have a fully featured landing page, wrenchme at gmail.com. Um, now I could do a thank you page and a bunch of other stuff, but it says, thanks, you're on the list. That's it, you've done it, you now have a landing page. Feel free to write me comments below, anything you wanna say. Thanks for listening, I'll talk to you soon. As I said, Almost no time, almost no money. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like and comment below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, would love also, I have a little bit of laundry. If you could do my laundry, that'd be kind of awesome. I have a few dishes in the sink. They need hand washing, that'd be awesome too. I've got a tree in my driveway that drips a bit on my cars. So if you could sort of wash my cars, that'd be cool. And then my front porch gets really dusty. So if you could give that a sweep, that'd be awesome as well. Uh, my bed could use making, my drums could use a little bit of tuning as well.